Hello and welcome back. I'm Gary, Return of the Nerd. Okay, this is my weekly vlog. You guys subscribe and hit that notification bell. Every week I have three videos, okay? The vlog, the action figure posing with the music and the spinny table to make you dizzy. And then I will do my weekly review of Kenobi with my friend in the UK, Eric, all right? Now today I want to go through the list of products which I have already ordered and I know that they're going to come in soon. People, will, my clients will ask me, you know, do you have this one? Do you have that one? No, sorry, not yet. <clears throat> when is it coming in? I don't know. Um, so just to clarify and just bring, you know, people up to date. Right now, I have, I'm waiting for the publishing line figures Darth Vader, Infinity's Darth Vader, he's all white from the comic book, and also the Princess Leia, okay? Sergeant Creel, I got him like almost a month ago now, so he's practically sold out, and the, the Wookiee I did not order, <clears throat> because I just don't believe that customers really want to, to collect that one. Sorry, Hasbro. Um, for TVC... I do have a whole bunch here I can go through. So for the 3.75, I'm waiting on Mandalorian Season 2, uh, Din Djarin, when he's like undercover and he's wearing the Imperial like tank pilot suit. I'm also waiting for Figurin Dan. I'm waiting for, this is the big one, Arc Trooper Jesse. I have ordered so many and I really pray that they don't cut my orders. Next one, a Clone Trooper. The 332nd, uh, Ahsoka's, yep, 332nd, I always say 372nd, second, 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 oh dear, there's too many, the 501st and the, two, and the 212th and the, I'm losing track of all the names of all the different battalions of clone troopers, so that's a cool one, you know, with the, with the orange helmet, uh, that was from season 7 of the Clone Wars. Next is another Clone Wars figure. It's the Mandalorian Death Watch Airborne Trooper and also the Mandalorian Super Commando Captain. So I'll be wait I'm waiting on those at the moment. Um and then <clears throat> there is another deluxe TVC product that I have ordered. If you guys remember we had Ahsoka Tano with the owl and little Grogu and she has a lantern right and then we had Tatooine Boba with the Stormtrooper helmets okay so those ones have completely gone sold out I can't get any more I've tried but I will get the incinerator trooper and Grogu very soon he's got the flame thrower accessory and also he's got that like you know when he uses the force to to, to stop the flames, and that's a really beautiful accessory. I can't wait to get that one. Um, oh, look, and one more for the Black Series, of course, is um, the, the, the nodal modes or the modal nodes. There's the build up pack where you've got Figurin Dan, and he comes with basically all of the instruments that you need to put together the whole band. All right, so I'm getting that one uh, too. And everything else is just wait and see, you know, because I get new lists every week. Um, mainly is just for restocking and resupplying. And then, you know, every, I don't know, like maybe once or twice a month, I'll be, suddenly they'll be like, oh, we have brand new products. And then I'm like, yes, okay, go, 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 go. Um, I have found that, you know, since Kenobi started, since like just... Probably like the end of May, things have really picked up. I mean, the in terms of uh, Star Wars, TVC and Black Series figures, I'm getting a lot more uh, new pre-orders in now, and I'm really busy, so incredibly busy. Okay, so that's that. Then also I wanted to show you that I'm also might, okay, be selling some custom accessories. So we all know that there's a bit of a problem with the Black Series because... If you're used to, like, for example, I got this for my birthday, okay? My birthday was yesterday, now I'm 50. My friend got me a Michael Myers from NECA, and just look at the ton of accessories. Three faces, all the different hands. He's got a pumpkin. <clears throat> He's got, like, a hammer. Oh, I can use that for Ned B to hit some stormtroopers. He's got, like, a, a fish knife, a scalpel, and a syringe, and there's just 
There's just so much stuff that comes in the pack. And like the main criticism with the Black Series is you get the figure and then like one blaster if you're lucky and then it's like okay that's it you know like and then if you and and then if you get <clears throat> i mean this would be a super duper duper deluxe just the black series needs to have more accessories i want to see more um like marvel legends marvel legends does a good job they have um you know these uh fx plastic you know like a laser pew pew effects and flames and all kinds of stuff I don't see, like, why Why is this not being given to us in the Black Series? Especially considering the price tag. I want more for my money, and I know you do, you guys do too. So, yeah, I got this, which is a, like a, a rotary gun. The Clone Wars, a lot of the Storm... Not Storm Troopers, the Clone Troopers have these, like, huge rotary guns, you know, and they have to hold it with two hands... It's like that above, they've got that grip on the top, and they just, For the Republic! And then it's turn around 360 degrees, shoot all those droids. This is really nice. So I've got this um, is a sample, and I'm going to test it out. I'm going to make a video and use this and see how good does it look, and also, like, how strong is it, how durable is it, because I've been given free samples before, and I've been given... Um, accessories that people have 3D printed and literally like I, I take it in my, my, my thumb and my forefinger and go hmm that's nice <laughs> uh, shit so like the quality it needs to be tough so that and check this out I got the uh, full I got the best gas spear from season 2 um, that means I need to go find Moff Gideon because I sold him uh, I want to have Din Djarin and Moff Gideon basically like beat the crap out of each other and I can use that in my video as well and it's this one that actually comes comes off in two pieces so if everything goes according to plan um, I will for sure start promoting and selling these on my platform because I just think that this is something that the collectors really 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 need with the Black Series because the Black Series is pretty hopeless when it comes to you know, extra accessories. <coughs> I find that for my videos, I'm having to improvise a lot. You know, oh, there was that figure I got last year in NECA. Well, I'm just going to borrow the, 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 the something from that. And then, oh, look, the Back to the Future. Remember that he came came with the, the guitar and the skateboard. And, the, and it's like, even some of the weapons... I will use from other lines, like for example, McFarlane came out, I had the Bloodshot character, and he has some pretty cool accessories. Um, so I like to mix and match, but that's not really because... Sometimes that's not out of choice, it's because I'm forced to do it, because the Black Series just does not provide enough accessories. Alright, so as I was saying, it was my birthday yesterday, I'm now 50-something. <laughs> I was born in 1972, if you're interested. And uh, I got the second book, here it goes, Concept Art, Mandalorian Season 2. I got the first one as well, I actually got that one last year. Urgh! This thing is hardback and weighs a ton. It's like a dumbbell, it's like probably about 5 kilograms. Urgh! It's got some lovely uh, illustrations, it's got uh, lots of concept art in it. But not just concept art, I mean it kind of just goes through... The whole season, you know, chapter by chapter. So if you haven't watched The Mandalorian, then don't read this book because it will completely spoil the whole story for you. Um, it's very comprehensive. Do you remember the names of the chapters? The first one with Cobb Vanth and uh, the Crate Dragon. The Marshal. Number two, the Passenger, the Heiress. The Siege, the Jedi. That was my favourite. The Tragedy, the Believer. And then, oh, the Rescue. Oh, that was so sad. Man, this book is awesome. And then again, like, <clears throat> I took the cover off because I want to, I don't want to rip it. So this goes over the top. There you go. And you got a Sokotano on the back. All right. It's got a nice forward at the beginning by Doug Chung, all right, who's who does a lot of the concept art, uh, art at Lucasfilm. Actually, fun fact, his, his family are from Taiwan. That's a fact. I know that. 
So I got that, and <laughs> this is hilarious. I got an LED Mandalorian helmet. Let me just fire it up. Here we go. Dun 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 dun. That's nice. I'm gonna have that in my room as like uh, you know, like when you need to get up in the middle of the night because you have to piss and you don't want to walk into the door. So this can be my nightlight. I did actually get one from my parents. Uh, I think it was two years ago. Here we are. Very appropriate because we're watching Kenobi. I I am what you made me, and you can see his eye here. This one's nice. I think it's probably the same company. I'll have to look into that. <clears throat> Um, and then <clears throat> I got this <laughs> awesome always appreciate the Star Wars coffee mugs and I never use them I just put them on my shelf for display there you go so like <clears throat> I've had a pretty cool time the last uh, couple of days it's been my birthday and I've been re-watching Kenobi I think I must have watched episode 3 like at least 4 times now brilliant don't forget you can check out uh, Eric and myself, we go on Zoom and then we break down the episodes and we kind of do a deep dive into like what we think might happen next and then, <clears throat> but we do it, I think we're doing it in a nice balanced way because I've noticed that a lot of other YouTubers are being a little bit sarcastic and negative about this show and also they were the same about the Book of Boba Fett too. Um, I think don't judge until you've seen the in you know the whole show in its entirety. I mean I know it's not it's not perfect. It's not really on par with the Mandalorian season 1 and 2, but I'm still a Star Wars fan and I'm really enjoying it every single week, all right? So just don't ruin it with your toxic videos, all right? Good. This is the way. I shall be doing yes, so the next posing video for my channel will hopefully be Moff Gideon versus Din Djarin, and I can test out some of these new customized accessories, or I'll do a clone trooper video using the uh, the Gatling gun, the rotary gun. What do you call these things? I don't know. Okay, guys, stay safe. May the force be with you, and I'll see you next time.